I've had people come to me with 10 to 12 medications. Mm -hmm. And we, I'll do like a drug decision tree, meaning that I'll put what I think I can pull them off of initially from the Q period, yeah. and then another stage, and there's some that I'm just gonna have to leave in because that's just where their health is, like yeah. morbid mort obesity, or if they have maybe had stents put in or whatever, these right. have to stay in. But I've had people come to me with, put on like five different glucose agents, meaning metformin, glimepride, taking insulin, I'm like, you're taking all this stuff to fix their insulin issues, you're actually doing the reverse. You're yeah. actually causing mm -hmm. uh, issues because of the way it works on the liver and all these systems. And, and it's like, are they gonna be dependent upon that now? Yeah, but, but the problem is they come to us and their blood sugars are still 140. Yeah, so I'm like, so you're taking four medications and your blood sugar is 140. You don't, that's like a red flag, that yeah. shouldn't be happening. Mm -hmm. Maybe one and you should be able to get these. Because I have people that are type one diabetics, they have like an insulin pump and mm -hmm. whatever. One female came to us and she's 170, 180. And this is, with insulin, yeah, um, and her doctor thinks that's okay, mm. and that to me that's a huge red flag. Mm. Even if there are type one diabetic, mm -hmm. so we do all the stress management, the lifestyle, supp proper supplementation, nutrient, and then I think it was like eight, six to eight weeks, mm -hmm. and now her blood sugars are eighty, yeah, seventy five. She's a type one diabetic, yeah, doing right. and like her insulin broke. Insulin pump broke one time on vacation, and typically, somebody in that scenario, it's really bad, obviously, because oh, insulin sure. dependent on it. Yeah. But she was able to handle it for 24 hours until she actually wow. got the replacement Damn. without getting, you know, off kilter and like health going to crap. Yeah. But it's a, it's an entire picture. It's not yeah. like just the training or just this. You have to put it all together, and you have to teach the clients to manage this. Yeah. Life's never going to be perfect. You're never going to be able to get rid of all your stress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what can I do to mitigate this? Because we'll all go through phases where stress is just high yeah. from yeah. The stuff we got to do with work and late nights and long work hours. Mm -hmm. That's normal. We try to mitigate the effects on the body as much as we can. Mm -hmm. Like I just went through a whole stand of a month of just travel, 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 travel. Yeah. And I just got back. That's why I just got my blood work done. I'm doing a reset phase right now for my gut and my health uh, because of the stressors that was brought on me because of the long days and yeah. the time zone shifts and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. It's fine, that was an acute period of time. Now sure. I'm gonna get things back on point, get my health, and yeah. go back to where you are. Yeah. 